Stefanos is drawn to the landscape of a face. What I love is the imperfections. For me, the, the least interesting kind of face to draw is someone who's traditionally, conventionally beautiful. A Foxborough-based portrait artist and illustrator, Stefanos was captivated early by music and art. I remember telling my father that I want to really take this music thing seriously and see what I can do. And he said, okay, okay, what if it doesn't work out? And I said, I'll do art. And he was just like, oh, okay. He believed in me, and I think it's because I always worked really hard. Stefanos began as an editorial cartoonist for the Boston Herald. Work with national publications followed, including Rolling Stone, Newsweek, and Mother Jones. I just always wanted to do something where you ended up with a thing that you were proud of at the end of the day. Getting to that point requires patience, hours and hours of work to achieve that intangible quality that makes a good portrait. And I've done it plenty of times, but there's nothing worse than a portrait that has no life behind the eyes. I'll send Maria a screenshot. And she sent a thing back saying, um, oh no. <laughs> That's cold. Yes, we're talking by Maria, we mean our very own powerhouse news anchor, Maria Stefanos. Dale and Maria met as high schoolers in Groveland. They've been married for almost 30 years. I've seen him draw for how many years? All of them. <laughs> I've seen all him draw them. for all of the years. And he just gets better and better and better. It's nice having a front row seat watching this guy. Well, she's the best person I've ever met. Oh, please. Steadfast support at home, says Stefanos, makes all the difference. I think in a lot of ways she really saved me and, and um, made my life wonderful. We just believed in each other. Maria's much more visible than I am, but my work is very visible. But nobody knows who I am, which is exactly the way I want it. Visibility is something every arts company strives to attain. Boundary-defined theater is one way to stand out. Contemporary circus, all the way to contemporary music theater, to international programming. Since its debut in 2010, Arts Emerson in Boston has been attracting new audiences to the Paramount and the Cutler Majestic Theaters. Executive Director David House. Arts Emerson is a presenter uh, first and for foremost, meaning we are actually scouting for work all around the world. The great theater that's happening in the city of Boston, and we don't need to be duplicative. We're trying to actually be additive. He shorty. Recent works include Detroit Red about Malcolm X's time in Boston. Triptych is a tribute to photographer Robert Maplethorpe, with music composed by Grammy-winning guitarist Bryce Dessner. We are often on the lookout for work that um, provokes, work that inspires, work that renews and reimagines. Alicia Hall Moran has been praised for all those qualities. The New York-based mezzo-soprano and composer has performed many times in Boston, including in Triptych. Hall Moran's vast talents encompass opera, theater, and jazz on multiple stages, Broadway, Carnegie Hall, and the Whitney Biennial, to name a few. She often collaborates with her husband, MacArthur award-winning pianist and composer, Jason Moran, who's on faculty at the New England Conservatory. So I never feel like I'm singing by assignment. I feel like the assignments find me because I'm always asking for more. Here I am, signed, sealed, delivered, I'm young. In 2018, Hall Moran created Breaking Ice, set on a public ice rink. Hall Moran is a former synchronized figure skater from Stanford, Connecticut, and Breaking Ice was inspired by a storied sporting event. During the 1988 Winter Olympics, Katerina Witt and Debbie Thomas skated to the same music from the opera Carmen. Now I realize very much that a, a huge center of my singing comes from my ice skating experience. Your usefulness in being a centered person and your usefulness in understanding rhythm and pattern and caring about people and being able to sense tension is really important. It's a fine 
Today, Hal Moran says the abundance of diverse, multi-platform content can empower artists to reach more people. I think it's a really exciting time to feel equally connected with people in the world because there's so much more out there. Alicia and John Moran, really superstars yes. in the music <laughs> world. They designed a, a really uh, praiseworthy mm -hmm. uh, event for, uh, debuted at Carnegie Hall, got a lot of uh, press for that and a number of other events as well. They're, they're great. They're so talented and so is Dale Stefanos. Uh, he does commissioned mm. work in addition to his regular work and he says he draws who he likes, which many times are musicians. He's a musician himself. He plays the guitar. Mm -hmm. And I think we also should mention that his wife, Maria, it happens to be her birthday today. So happy oh, birthday, Maria. Right. Happy birthday, Maria. How nice. Perfect timing. Up next, inspiring young artists.